This is one of the most legendary animations in the entire history of the internet. Now, if you were active during the golden age of the internet, you probably remember this setting, these characters for this excellently choreographed and hypnotic fight scene that we all know and love. Animated by Zhu Zi Cheng, this particular animation is the third installment of the Xiao Xiao series. And if you don't speak Chinese, what the heck does Xiao Xiao even mean? Well, if you were thinking it meant something cool or related to martial arts, you may be surprised to find out that Xiao Xiao actually means little. So the title, although not a perfect translation, comes out to something like Little Little or Itty Bitty which is a little strange because there's nothing little about these animations. With the fast-paced action and precise movement of each character, one view is simply not enough. You have to watch it multiple times. With nine official entries, Xiao Xiao acted as the vanguard for stickman animations that now has transformed itself into a powerhouse, both for viewership and unmatched creativity. This is how Xiao Xiao inspired a new genre of animated entertainment. The Stickman fighting animations that you know and love today actually got their humble beginnings back in 1989. In Beijing, China, Zhu Zicheng begins to practice with animating stick figures, and over a short span of several years, he imitates the technique of old-school Hong Kong martial arts films and incorporates the intense and precise movements into a two-dimensional format with simplified combatants. This would lead to the first Xiao Xiao installment, in which it puts two stick figures fighting one another in hand-to-hand -hand combat. With the fight slowly escalating, we, the audience, are shown an exciting fight with an accompanying side of violence, an addition that further enhances the fight scene. Throughout the entire sequence, a variety of weapons are used, many of which would make a return in subsequent episodes. The first chapter's conclusion has our hero defeating his opponents and sets the stage for what we can expect from the upcoming episodes. Zi Chang's style would continue to evolve and better itself until it would reach the pinnacle of Xiao Xiao 3, the installment that we all recognize. Now, one interesting thing to note about the series is that not every installment is an intricate fight scene, because out of the nine main episodes for Xiao Xiao, four of them are interactive games rather than movies. It's an interesting mix that a lot of the early media during the golden era had, especially within the realm of stickman animations. Each entry of Xiao Xiao is unique, and starting from the first episode, we know what to expect from further Xiao Xiao installments. You are guaranteed to spend the next couple of minutes filled with entertaining fights and shootouts inspired from iconic and classic action movies. Such is the case of Xiao Xiao 4, where the eponymous protagonist plays the role of the sheriff, coming to handle the bandits in the town. It's an obvious callback to the old spaghetti western films, with Xiao Xiao rocking the whole cowboy hat along with using a revolver to fight the bad guys. So on the surface, you have the set piece and plot inspired by western films, and the gameplay is reminiscent to the classic rail shooter Virtua Cop or Time Crisis if your introduction to rail shooters came after Virtual Cop. And it's in episode 4 where we get a little plot as well, as in the previous episode, we saw that there was this purple character who fought the protagonist very well, and this boss character is the only bad guy who has a similar skill set that the main character has, and he proves to be a challenge. Well, in the cowboy shootout, he returns again, making him a reoccurring and dangerous threat to the main character. This constant back and forth battle of the main character and the many bad guys that he takes on in each episode was an aspect that I, probably like many other young viewers at the time, wanted to see more of. This led to the rise of many websites that dedicated content to exactly that. Take for example the legendary stickpage.com, which hosted content that not only satisfied our desire for more stickman fighting videos, but also pushed the niche fanbase into mainstream popularity. And if you don't believe me that stickman animations were mainstream, 
take a look at this Nike commercial, the same one that embroiled Nike into a lawsuit with Zichang. But going back to StickPage, I remember finding all sorts of memorable games and movies on that site, and after visiting the page for this video, I was very sad to find out that the page had essentially been abandoned for quite a while, and ever since Flash was unplugged, the website was just left there. Despite the somewhat tragic end, however, the site is still accessible, and it remains virtually the same as I remember it over a decade ago. It's a fantastic trip down memory lane if you had once found yourself roaming that or similar sites for Stickman content. And if you are currently a younger viewer who has no experience of this, I still highly recommend you to go check out the site because this page was the place for all things Stickman. From viewing stickpage.com, you can see the impact that Xiao Xiao had not on just Stickman animations, but also the culture surrounding it. That stick figures would always somehow be fighting one another because there's just inherently something entertaining about a battle between animated figures that you simply watch, which brings up the name Alan Becker. And there's a huge chance that you know who I'm talking about. Starting in 2006, Becker released what would be the first of a highly popular series, Animator vs. Animation, and it depicts an artist who draws a stickman that suddenly comes to life and wrecks havoc in the computer, leading to a massive battle that the animator manages to stop. Fast forward a handful of years, and Becker would release his most popular entry in the Animator vs. Animation series, with the fourth installment pushing the boundaries of how animation would fight Animator, and the battle and chase sequences of that film were, and still are, one of the best executions of weaving digital and physical space to tell a fantastic story. And you can also see the inspiration taken from Xiao Xiao's number three's legendary fight scene. The subsequent sequels and spin-offs also demonstrate how the Stickman animation has never gone out of style, and in fact, finds itself more popular than ever, especially when you see the views of the Minecraft-themed episodes. It's more than incredible to see that not only are these movies fluidly animated, but that the lore behind each story also brilliantly weaves previous episodes together, allowing fans from years ago to recognize their favorite moments and characters in newer episodes. The exciting nature of watching animated characters move throughout the set piece and fight is something that is entertaining just by spectating alone. But for those of us that want that little bit of control, there exists a plethora of media that allows us to participate in the chaos directly. Take a look at this classic website, Ragdoll Software, in which there is a small but iconic selection of ragdoll games. Super Steel Ball, a game that has you and up to three other players playing tag with a ball in a low gravity environment, or Ragdoll Masters, a more combat focused game where you can battle an AI opponent or local player. The game that deserves the spotlight, however, is Rubber Ninjas, which is basically a 3D version of Ragdoll Masters, and in addition to the new perspective, we also have the ability to customize our combatants' physical appearance and even weaponry. Again, you can battle your way through the ranks of computer opponents, or you can challenge a friend to fight in a local match. When you play through these games, you can't help but try to imitate the epic fight scenes that you've seen throughout the Xiao Xiao series. And the same mentality also goes for a more modern take on the stick-themed fighting games, as Stick Fight the game demonstrates. The wacky and nonsensical battles that you and the other players engage in reinforce the fun factor that Stickman animations are known for. When we look back on it, the early 2000s all the way throughout the early 2010s really was the golden era of the internet in both what we, the audience, were able to experience along with the unbelievable creativity of the many talented artists. 
And no matter if you were able to participate in the content during those times, we are very fortunate to have the ability to revisit and relive those moments that would define a significant portion of internet culture and entertainment. Xiao Zhao stands as the original Stickman animation series, bringing about an era of fast-paced, quick, and exhilarating fight sequences. Over the years, the community has adapted to new developments in technology and mediums that allow new forms of interactivity. Despite Flash's removal from the internet, the style of stick figure animations is one that continues to have a strong fan base in today's entertainment landscape. With the limitless possibilities and realized creativity that we have been lucky to witness, there is no doubt that Xiao Zhao's legacy is one that will continue to inspire a new generation of content that still delivers the same exciting action as it did since its humble beginnings in 2001.